But I think most importantly, the person that we all need to recognize for this film is Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> MGK is just in this movie. Are you ready to be in? Yeah. Good, because yeah. cause we in. Are we? Yeah. Are we really? Yes? Oh, God. I don't know. Are we in? Are we in the bird box? You guys missed it. I did a I did a bird box challenge in order to start off the episode. Is that what the bird box challenge is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's you just literally your, just wearing a blindfold. Yeah, you literally just something? blindfold yourself. That's stupid. All these NBA refs out here doing the bird box challenge. <laughs> KD was out of bounds. I've, I've stole that from so many fucking NBA memes. Yeah, I get it. the The bird box meme is hot right now. Yeah, the bird box challenge, the bird box meme. You know we why? saw Bird Box for a spoiler oh, oh, episode, guys. Welcome to the Chris and Kyle show. Spoilers for Bird Box. He's Chris. I'm Kyle. And, guys, and we're talking I've about noticed, Bird Box. noticed uh, the setup is a little bit different oh, yeah. today because I mean, we're in the process of moving. I mean, all that's missing really from the shot is the pictures. Right? This, we're using a different table right here. So like you guys oh, yeah, are probably going to see, see the it. laptop a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. It's, it's, our our picks are in a in a box somewhere. Like the birds. <laughs> like the birds. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did Fucking you know? I mean, you know this, but did you know, in the context of having fun, did you know this is the most streamed Netflix movie of all time in the first week? Yes. So I told you that, but that's okay. <laughs> it had over 45 million streams yeah. in the first week. That's crazy. Yeah, this is the hottest stream on Netflix oh, right I, now. I, I forgot, really like the only I meant to do would... this. So if if something had 45 million views at a movie theater during a week, it would have made $540 million if you do $12 average ticket sale. Right. Which might be kind of low. I'm not sure. Right. It might be even more than that. might be even more than that. That's crazy. Yeah, it's an insane. It's a. It also a makes phenomenon. me wonder, like, I wonder what the what like the average Netflix content, how much it gets watched. You know what I mean? Like the average new Netflix movie or show. Right. I wonder what what the average is. Like, what mm-hmm. is a low number for Netflix? Yeah, because they don't really like release they don't release their, its prior analytics. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know why, why they released this one. It's probably because it's it was it's, so big. Yeah, so big. Um. Yeah, I. Okay, so, so this is Bird Box is a Netflix original. Yep. Released straight to Netflix. I will read you the IMDb synopsis right here. Ooh, do you want the longer one or the shorter one? Shorter one, please. <clears throat> Five years after an ominous, unseen presence drives most of society to suicide, a mother and her two children make a desperate bid to reach safety. Accurate. Accurate. Directed by Suzanne Beer. Or Bayer, B-I-E-R, don't know how to say it. Written by, you might like this, Eric Heiserer? I'm not even going to... H-E-I-S-S-E-R-E-R. He's Sire-er. Yeah, sure. He's Sire-er. But he's, uh, he wrote a rival. Oh. Yeah. Wrote a rival and lights out. So I thought that was kind of cool. Hmm. Starring Bird Box herself. I'm Wait, so he, did he write the, the novel or the screenplay? Because this, this Bird Box is based on a novel, right? Yes, Josh Mailerman wrote the novel. Okay. He wrote the screenplay for Bird Box. Okay, so he's pretty good at adapting um, novels. Uh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, big cast, but uh, Sandra Bullock plays Mallory. Mm-hmm. Spelled weird. I-E at the end. It's not how my sister spells if it. If you don't uh, know who Sandra Bullock is. She's never been in anything. Then I don't know why you watch movies. Uh the blind side um, yeah, she, a lot more do you want to say side. something about, about Sandra Bullock and the blind side uh, Miss Congeniality The Proposal Gravity yeah Gravity Speed she was in Speed yeah she was in Speed Ooh. has she been nominated for an Oscar watch as blind I side. do watch as I do my research blind Oscar side. winner for best performance by an actress in a leading role she got that for blind side yeah you're not about it? I'm going to give you my skeptical face. I got to go back and look at the list of nominees that year. Seems like it was weak. Did she win or just Yeah, she won. Oh. Seems like it was weak. Anyway, 
Trevante Rhodes as Tom. I really like Trevante Rhodes. Yeah. He's like, he was in, uh, he's in Moonlight, which I haven't seen. Right. But uh, he was in Predators. Predators. Or The, the, the Predator. No, The Predator. We the can't, predator. we can't mess around with these things. Yeah. Because they're all so similar. The Predator from this year. Who's in that? But yeah, I like him. He's cool. Uh, John Malkovich from being John Malkovich. <laughs> Sarah Paulson played her sister. Um, there's a lot of small roles like Jackie Weaver, Rose Salazar, who's Alita Battle Angel. Uh, Danielle McDonald, who is that girl that plays a rapper in that one movie that I haven't seen, but I saw a trailer for. Yeah, I forgot what it's called. Let's find out. I'm sure it's on here. Patty Cakes with yep. a money sign yep. for an S. Uh, that boy, Lil Rel, Lil Rel from Get Out. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, the funny guy from Get Out B. that plays Wong, the TSA. B. Agent. Wong from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. But I think most importantly, the person that we all need to recognize for this film is Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> MGK is just in this movie. He's Credited doing a lot more acting. Colson Baker. He's doing a lot more acting. He's reaching out. Has he done more acting? Yeah, I, he's uh, he's doing something else too. Hey, he wasn't bad. He wasn't like distracting or no. anything. I honestly think that if it wasn't someone that was like we knew and was recognizable and we liked because of meme reasons, you know what I mean? Like machine like liking Machine Gun Kelly is just kind of fun. It's fun to like Machine Gun Kelly. Uh -huh. It's silly. Yeah. He you, loves Cleveland. You don't even necessarily I don't like know his music, if I've heard but... any Machine Gun Kelly song besides Bitch I'm from the Land, whatever yeah. that song is called. Yeah. And he sang a song that it's I heard called once. Till I Die. He had a song that he sang with uh, what's her name? Camilla Cabel Cabello, whatever her name Camille is. Camila Cabello. I think that's what it's called. Sure. What her name? What is. what it's called? I think that's what yeah, it's called. Yeah, yeah, her. I think they had a song together that I've seen. I saw like a live performance of, and he like played guitar and sang, and it was actually pretty good. Huh. Um, but yeah, like liking Machine Gun Kelly is just kind of fun. Uh -huh. So seeing him and being like, "Yo, that's Machine Gun Kelly," made me just like him because he was kind of a shitty character. Like, if he was just a random actor, I probably would have hated him. You know what I mean? Hated the character. The character, yeah. 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 I would have been like, this guy sucks. All he does is complain about how screwed they are and then run away after having sex with Alita Battle Angel. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, let's talk about the movie itself. Let's do it. All right. So, Hey, did you know this movie's called Bird Box? Because there's literally birds in a box. <laughs> <laughs> um, so before I watched this movie, I had seen all of the the memes. I had seen the the shit of Sandra Bullock being blindfolded, mm -hmm. people being blindfolded, uh, doing the bird box challenge, as well as the uh, fucking that. There's a a part in the movie where the, uh, the 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 guy grabs Jackie Weaver's character and like opens her eyes, forcibly opens yeah, her yeah. eyes, and I that meme is everywhere now. Oh really? Yeah. Um, I somehow managed to avoid a lot of this. I've seen the meme of the picture of Sandra Bullock a lot. Yeah. But I haven't seen any bird box challenges. Only people saying things like, stop doing the bird box challenge. You're hurting yourselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, it's just people blindfolding themselves. But uh, I also saw a meme that was like, uh, bird box is, it's it's the one with uh, fuck uh, Chowder with Crowder. What, what the fuck is that guy's name? Something Crowder. Uh, but it's, you, you ever seen the meme with the, the guy and he's sitting at a table and, uh, they'll put up something that's like, um, bird box is overrated. Mm -hmm. Uh, convince me. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. The convince me otherwise guy. Yeah. Convince me otherwise. Yeah. That okay. guy. Right. Um, I saw that. I saw like bird box is overrated. Convince me otherwise. Um, I wouldn't say overrated. It's a 6.8 on MBB. I think people confuse overrated with overhyped with um with overappreciated. Okay. Right? It's kind of like Drake. You know, like I don't think that I think that Drake is overappreciated but underrated. Underrated? Okay. Because yeah, because just okay. so many people listen to him and he's just super yeah. popular. Yeah. Um so people like associate his popularity with, you know, incredibly good quality, which That's I, true. I like Drake. I like, no, I like Drake, Drake a lot. too. Um but although I will admit to I have not listened to this has nothing to do with the podcast episode, but like I, I don't listen to as much Drake content because he puts out so much content that I feel like is so average that I don't feel the need to go find it. You know what I mean? Well, I feel like Drake I just wait for big hits to be like, like what, like I wait for like the Hotline Bling, and I'm like six months later, I'm like, all right, I'll listen to this, well, and then I'm like, yo, Hotline Bling is dope. 
Okay, Drake is an adequate metaphor for what Bird Box is. I okay. feel like. Okay. Um, it's just it's over appreciated. Yeah. Um, but under I feel like six point eight is kind of low though. For now, so the, the one movie that this movie is getting p- compared to a lot is uh, a Quiet Place. A Quiet Place, which I was about which to say. You love. in comparison, A Quiet Place is a seven point six on IMDb. Right. Which I would I would argue that the spread. Makes sense to me. The 0.8 star spread. Okay. I get it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so... I liked a quiet... I, I mean, I liked a bird place. I love... <laughs> a bird place? A bird place. <laughs> <laughs> I liked... A bird, quiet box. <laughs> I liked bird box. I loved a quiet place. Yeah. That, that was like it. your favorite movie One of, year, of my right? favorite movies of the year. Now, yeah. why did you like a quiet place more than you liked bird box? Two words. Four, four words. Five words. <laughs> I kept adding words. Five words. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. Okay. That's it? Yeah. I think they're both amazing in that movie. Mm-hmm. And then obviously John Krasinski is more than just this, the lead of the movie. He's also the director and the writer. So he's mm-hmm. like, his fingerprints are all over it. And I think Emily Blunt is freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that, uh, uh, oh my God, Sandra Bullock is not good. I think Sandra Bullock is very good in this movie, yeah. but not on that level. I think that there's a lot of good things about this movie. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't, I would say a quiet place is just that much better. I wouldn't even say 0.8 better on IMDb on an IMDb scale. Um, oh, I also felt like it's way more than five words. If we're being honest, <laughs> <laughs> I also feel like a quiet place has emotionally resonated with me way more. Really? Oh yeah. Way more. I cried watching a cry, a quiet place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This, I, this shit. I didn't. When he did the, the sign language at the end. Oh, broke me i i mean i had like probably emotionally i probably had the same um reaction mm-hmm. from uh, a quiet place in bird box um i think one of the big uh differences did you get while you're watching bird box did you get like harry potter four vibes not one little bit I don't not know one little talking. bit i don't know what you're talking okay about. so in harry potter four when uh they go through the maze <clears throat> mm-hmm. Uh, and then there's like like these like fucking like wind oh blowing. the wind the wind, <laughs> the wind. Yeah, okay but th- okay. there's like a creature you yeah. know that's like supposed to be out there yeah. that like you never see yeah um Dude, I in think the book, there's like a giant spider and there's some, there's a sphinx there's, yeah there's yeah and the, shit. there's like a riddle and shit yeah. yeah um took it all out yeah so you didn't that yeah. was what I thought now of. that you're saying I I know you're I get yeah. it I yeah, get yeah. it um <clears throat> that was one of the things I really wanted to bring up was the <clears throat> The decision to not include a monster. Mm-hmm. To me, I get it. I think it's interesting. Didn't really work for me. I, I wish that there was right. something. I, I don't even necessarily right. need to see, you know, the whole mon I don't need to go full what was it, Alien Covenant, mm-hmm. where they did like where you saw the xenomorph like all up in the light and yeah. made it like almost less scary. Yeah. But it's more scary to me when there's something, not just like, oh no, there's a proximity alarm going off, but we don't see anything. Oh no, what we can hear in the in the leaves are swirling, but we don't see anything. Yeah, like I I feel like the perfect example of that, right? Of being able to hide your uh, your creature mm-hmm. while also showing it just enough in order to keep uh, interest is the first alien, right? Yeah. Okay. The succeeding aliens have uh, they showed too much alien have. <laughs> Uh, gone up and down as far as fucking uh, how they've done it. But like the the quintessential, the way that you should utilize, like how much you should be showing your creature, I would say Alien and Jaws. Okay. Fucking don't show it for, you know, three quarters of the movie yep. and then show it a little bit. Yeah, I was waiting. End. I was waiting to see something. Mm-hmm. And they, they kind of tried um, stepping around it a little bit with the guy that did the drawings. I thought the yeah. drawings were kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, they were cool. Um, they, the problem with it was they all looked so different. Yeah. So it was like, it, at first I was like, oh, does, has he seen them and he's drawing them? Yeah. And then they all look so different. I was like, does he just have cool monster drawing ideas? Uh-huh. <laughs> um, and that was also like, he pulled out those <clears throat> drawings before we absolutely knew that he was crazy yeah. too. That's um, what triggered it. Where we went, oh, is he crazy? Well, like, I, I feel like the, what triggered it was fucking seeing his eyes, you know, like that's the, no, the, I, no, before that I was like, oh, he's, 
the drawings obviously made you me go. know that he's oh like he's probably going to be crazy but like i feel like there's still a chance like when he's pulling out these drawings right he could literally just be an artist yeah he could have he's been. fucking bored and mm-hmm. fucking yeah he's gonna well i saw that and i was like he's either crazy or they're gonna have like a nice moment with him and sandra bullock because she was an artist I was right. like, oh, they're gonna talk about being an artist that'll be right. cute and then i was like no he's crazy um yeah sandra bullock's a fucking badass for being a painter right well, she, I mean, they talked about her past a lot. Yeah. Well, she grew she, up on a ranch. Yeah, her dad was, was like a, a cowboy. Yeah. 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 They, yeah. they, they might need to talk it's about still it. Still pretty badass. Though. No. Yeah. She's super yeah. badass. Yeah. Um, I just want to throw this out there because, so this, <clears throat> this triggered me. I mean, this didn't trigger me during the movie. <clears throat> when I see people that talk about uh, a quiet place, there's basically two, I, a quiet place, not bird box, a quiet place. There's two schools of like either people who let themselves buy into the premise of the movie and they enjoy it and they, you know, they, they take it for what it is or they just go, this is impossible. No one ever survive. Or the stupid idea of like, why didn't they just live by the waterfall? That shit drives me crazy. That drives me nuts. Why didn't they just live by the waterfall? Anyway, I saw people on my social medias who had the latter reaction to a quiet place. Like this isn't reasonable. This would never work. This world is stupid. Stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Who liked Bird Box? And I was like, Bird Box is just as crazy. Like the idea that Sandra Bullock <laughs> got those kids down that river over two days without dying is unrealistic. I enjoyed it. I bought into it. Right. It's perfectly fine for, because I'm, but don't be that person who can buy one and not the other. It doesn't make any sense to me. That's crazy. Especially with all the steps that A Quiet Place took to create a world. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's so many little things in that movie, like the there's laying better the sand, world building, in the laying on the place. sand, uh-huh. laying the sand on the ground and stuff like that. Like there's so many little things that they did to make the world seem as real as possible. Mm-hmm. That I do think I think you're right. I think they go farther than Bird Box does. I think there's some stuff in Bird Box. I think there's uh, there's some good scenes with uh, when they're like foraging for stuff and they find like bells and Sandra Bullock is like, oh, we can use this as a warning system. There's some cool ideas, the way they use the string everywhere. Yeah. There's cool little things, but not as much, I think, as A Quiet Place did. And I just, it, I, the, I get triggered when I see people that reacted negatively to A Quiet Place and positively to Bird Box. And then the other thing, I like, I saw a lot of people that were like, oh, Bird Box is so crazy. And I was like, it's not really. Like I was waiting. So when it's like, a fucking, it's a good genre film. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a good genre film. And like, so I had that in my head of pe- literally the specific person I'm talking about who didn't like a quiet place, but said how crazy and good bird box was on the social medias who shall not be named. <laughs> I was like, I, I thought of them after uh, Sandra Bullock and the kids got off the river scene. And I was like, Oh, and she was like, all right, run to the board, the birds. And I was like, Oh, they're here. They made it. And I was like, they're going to have one more, uh, conflict one more obstacle right because that was too easy yeah like i mean they went through the rapids and they fell in the water but it wasn't like scary enough to where i didn't feel like anyone was gonna make you know what i mean right i was like there's got to be one more thing and then in my head i was like i heard about how crazy this movie was what's so crazy about it nothing seems completely nuts to me and even by the end nothing was i thought that final scene where she kept hearing uh, Tom's voice, Trevante Rhodes' voice. Yeah. I thought that was really good. Mm-hmm. And the kids were hearing her voice. That was a really good scene. Yeah. But it wasn't crazy. I wasn't like blown away. Like I wasn't like, oh, whoa. No, it was just cool. Yeah, it was just cool and, yeah. and well done. Mm-hmm. So like, I, I feel like that kind of goes into that overhype, overappreciation thing you're talking about a little mm-hmm. bit. Yeah, it's overappreciated. Uh, fucking... How much do you think the memory has added to the selling of this movie? A lot. A lot. That's right? like the that's like the the marketing dream. Modern day like any mar- a modern day marketing company can't get paid enough to do that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like when when some, something catches fire like that on social media, it's just it, it creates a life of its, its own. It's such a translatable meme. Yeah. And like there's something because it's so much more visual, like that uh the the conflict in uh, Bird Box is so much more visual uh, than A Quiet Place mm-hmm. because you it's literally like covering up your eyes. Yeah. Um, that like it's it's more translatable through like Instagram. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. NBA memes can fucking take hold yep. of the of the Bird Box challenge and shit. Yeah. Um, easier than you well, know making references a quiet place to challenge, a quiet, yeah. yeah, like yeah. A Quiet Place. Um, 
all a quiet place challenge would be trying to walk around quietly. That'd be really lame. <laughs> um, yeah, but it is a good movie. Mm-hmm. I don't really have much else. What uh, What was like your favorite stuff? Um, I like how quick it started. And yeah, I think that's too. that's another thing that that adds to um, its success on Netflix. I think. Uh, oh, because it can draw. People, yeah, because people will do that thing where you're like, "Let's maybe watch this," and you go like two minutes, and then you're like, "Nah, no, yeah." Which but that like, I don't, I don't get that. That it's like, how do you live that life? I understand it. How do you live that life? I understand it. Like, although I will say, with Netflix just automatically starting things, like last night, that was driving me crazy. Th- yeah, Netflix. Fucking, I f- a lot of people are complaining about this online mm-hmm. about how Netflix needs to change. Uh, not only just uh, starting shit like when just you playing on, things when you sit on the menu. Yeah, exactly. Like when you're scrolling through things and then the, like it'll just go right yeah, to the fucking Yeah, it's super trailer. annoying. It's awful. Yeah, it's an awful fucking part of Netflix. Um, I like yeah, when they so just had sucks. images, and then you could see the synopsis. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, that's yeah. I'll if I want to watch the trailer or whatever, I'll click on it and like mm-hmm. let me choose to watch the trailer. Yeah, Don't fucking force it upon yeah. me. Um. What else was I going to say about my favorite parts of Bird Box? Yeah, okay. So it, so it starts really quickly, um, which I like. There's And there's something really jarring about seeing like a woman of like Sandra Bullock's age, right? Who's like talking to two mm-hmm. younger kids and she's like... Really aggressive. R- really aggressive. She talks to them and, like adults. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but not only that, but like... Like you're gonna die. Yeah. Like she's telling these. She's kids very that honest. Gonna, yeah. And direct with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She doesn't sugarcoat anything. Um, so it really draws you into the movie. I think that's a. It was a really cool thing. Um, yeah, I said that while we were watching it. I was like, oh wow, we're already in it. And then yeah. they did, then they jump to the flashback, and uh-huh. I was like, oh okay, that's how it's gonna happen. Uh-huh. Thought the flashbacks were well done. Um, I really liked the the relationship between Sandra Bullock and Trevante Rhodes. I thought that was really really mm-hmm. good. Uh, I thought John Malkovich's character was just a dick. Like, I understand that you need that, ty- like, in this type of movie, yeah. you need that character that is, like, the untrusting mm-hmm. person. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's he's just such a dick. But, like, he says... He was right. He was right. He was right. Every single time he was right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, I also saw a meme about John Malkovich and how, like... Uh, fucking nobody was listening to him and he was just always right it was it was a stupid meme but um yeah like he didn't have i I liked this scene uh between him and sandra bullock when they were drinking a fucking like scotch or whatever mm-hmm. um and like there was like that sort of nice moment where he he actually like said that like he was hoping for a fucking better life and shit. yeah um <clears throat> yeah i don't does the does the moral question of that interest you? The like, if you were in that house, would you have let people in? Question. Hmm. Would you have been a Trevante Rhodes or would you have been a John Malkovich? Well, I think the you have to do what the, the people at the fucking where they blind shelter eyes. That's literally the, yeah. that's what you I take kept a flashlight thinking, to but their the eyes. problem was our our house that we were following. They never learned about the eyes. I don't think they never realized it. Uh-huh. Like Sandra Bullock saw her sister's eyes change, but I don't uh-huh. think she registered yeah. like what it meant really. So mm-hmm. they didn't know. Whereas the people at the, 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 at the end at the blind home, uh, they, they knew that they had learned it. Obviously we don't know how, but right. so yeah, I, I, obviously that's true. I think I would agree with you because we know that you would let people in, you would check their eyes and if their eyes are fucked up, you'd be like, get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Um, or you'd probably shoot them with the shotgun they had, but because they're going to try to murder you. Um, but yeah, I just think that moral implication is interesting. I'd be a, I'd be a Trevante Rhodes. I'm too nice. Yeah, I'd I'd be too. I would feel too bad. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's hard to put yourself in that situation of like actually being in a world-ending environment. But uh-huh. in general, I just feel like I'd be too. I'd feel too bad, and I'd be like, we have to help them. Right. It's it's so messed up to not help yeah. them. You'd be the first person to die in a purge. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, in the purge, I wouldn't go outside. But if you're inside and there's people outside that are trying to get in, like... And well, okay, like, so... Because uh, that happens all, in the purge we, all the time. I haven't seen any purge movie and I never will. 
Oh, it's one of my least favorite premises in all of the history of the world. Yeah. I hate the purge yeah. with like, like too much. I hate it too much, mm-hmm. but from my understanding from the trailers, most of the nonsense seems to happen in the, in the streets and people that are like outside are getting screwed. Like in that one trailer, Matt Saracen, his car breaks down and you're like, Oh, he's in trouble. Cause his car broke down. And I'm like, why are you driving anywhere within six hours of the purge starting? Lock yourself indoors for 36 hours. Don't do anything. You should. You know when the purge is coming. You should have bought supplies. You should be prepared. You should be like, you, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to work for two days before or after. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing anything for like a 36 to 48 hour period because the purge is happening and it's stupid and I'm not dying. I'm locked up with tons of food and water and I'm ready. I'm ready to lock down. I'm not living <laughs> that life. I'm not risking it. No way. The purge is stupid. Don't mess with it. But <laughs> during that lockdown, if there's someone that's knocking on your door and saying, please help, please help. Nope. Not during the purge. <laughs> not, not during, during the purge. Because it's way more like, like it's way more likely to me during the purge that that person's evil. Because yeah. any sane person during the purge locked in their house. What if they have a baby? Damn it. <laughs> Like, I hear a baby crying. Yeah. That'd be such a mean and good trick. Yeah. If you were like a crazy perjurer and Mm -hmm. you carried a baby around to to trick people into opening the door. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. And then you realize. The baby murders people. That the baby is the one pulling the strings. Yeah. Yep. And that's the purge movie I'm going to (laughs) write. The purge baby? The babening. The babening? I don't know. It's all about young babies and hot girls. The babening. The babening. Babes and babes. Bird Box is good. Yeah, it's fine. I feel like it. it's... So it's one of the it's, best Netflix originals. It's up there. Yeah. I haven't seen Peace of No Nation, but I assume it's better because it yeah. was nominated for a bunch of awards. Right. I liked Outlaw King more. Right. <clears throat> with Chris Pine. Uh, So, 7.0 is my threshold for, like, you should be able to recommend this Mm -hmm. movie to to pretty much anyone anyone. i would say talking about the imdb scale you're talking about yeah i would say anything that's like a six and up you would say if you like this type of movie you'll like this yeah so if you like but i think that that bird box it it should be yeah it should probably be yeah it should be because like anyone i think could watch bird box yeah like if you if you like movies then i would recommend this uh what genre oh this was the other thing i didn't think bird box was scary um like that's their marketing campaign. You see trailers on on you know when you're watching football or whatever. You see commercials. It's like thrilling, horrifying, edge of your seat, scare. And I'm like, no, I mean, I wasn't really ever scared. Right. Partially because I didn't know what was after them. Mm-hmm. Like when they do these shots of like the car scene is what like really did it. Where like they were in the car and the proximity alert kept going off, and then they would literally show shots of the car, but nothing around it. Yeah. That really bothered me. I was mm-hmm. like, they're supposed to be surrounded mm-hmm. and there's nothing around. <laughs> I do think the, the, the trigger is cool. Like what happens is very interesting. When, when you see the creature, this, you start seeing your worst fears or whatever it was. And then you become suicidal. That was yeah. very interesting. Yeah. And then for an unexplained reason, they never tell us why some people become weird because they're already crazy. Them? Because is that already, what you think it is? They're already crazy. Yo, well, because well, so there was uh, a few different references to. So like they said that everybody that would escape from the mental institution. Oh, that's true. Right, and then uh, when they meet the guy at the supermarket who's trying to get in. Oh yeah, Lil Rel said he was crazy. Yeah. Uh, he Charlie, was Charlie crazy. was like, yeah, he's a little crazy, mm-hmm. um, but he's alright. He's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, if you call someone fish fingers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like if you were a crazy person, then Interesting. you became a fucking like Question. bird box evangelist. Question. Would you have become a bird box evangelist? I don't know. See, I was thinking <laughs> about that. I was like, I was like, what's the threshold for what's crazy? What's the threshold here? for crazy? Yeah. You know, like would I, <laughs> would I, I don't, I don't know which side I would have been on. I don't know. Would it be like comforting if like you knew that you would be, you would commit suicide if you saw the creature? Would you be like, I'm not that crazy. Is that comforting? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, now, did you think of 
the movie The Happening at all. I've never seen The Happening. Is uh, that the one where you can't see or can't hear? I saw something, another meme that was like, Bird Box is see no evil, A Quiet Place is hear no evil, and then something else is, is, uh, what the fuck is the saying? Hear no evil, see no evil. Fuck no evil. Taste no evil. <laughs> Whoa! Smell no evil. Oh my God, what is it? Speak no evil. Speak no evil. So, yeah, A Quiet Place is speak no evil, Bird Box is see no evil. And there's another one that's here, no evil, but it might have been happening. It might not have been. Okay, uh, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I'm pretty sure happening. So happening is M Night Shyamalan, uh, Mark Wahlberg. A lot of people fucking pan this movie uh, because it's like bad acting, and they think that the idea is just fucking stupid. Mark Wahlberg being bad acting, or just around the movie. Mark Wahlberg bad acting. Dude, Mark Wahlberg is so weird. Sometimes he's so good. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't think that this is... I feel like this is in the cultural zeitgeist, so I can spoil the happening here. Is that okay? I don't know what happens in the happening. Okay, so everyone... This is not spoilers everyone, the happening. This is spoilers bird okay, box. Okay, but the, okay, so the premise of the movie is that everyone uh, basically... Something happens to the world, and like there's this... There's a happening? Uh... <sighs> Continue. There's like a uh, contagion or something that takes over the world and everyone kills themselves. Okay. That's, I mean, that's literally like everyone goes out of their way to kill themselves as quick oh, as possible. So, so like Bird Box is very super much, original. very much like Bird Box. Okay. Um, and I thought that idea was really cool, but a lot of people have criticized the happening f- because of the, the reason um, for, oh, okay. Um, for why it happens. They're like, oh, that's fucking really stupid. Okay. Um, which I didn't, it didn't bother me when I watched the movie. Spoil it. Spoilers for the happening. Tell me, I don't care. Yeah. Okay. I want to know We're more than I want to happening. see the movie. Um, <sighs> why does it happen? So basically, like their justification for it, like the reason, is basically like plants are um, like revolting, fight, like uh, fighting back against humanity and killing all of humanity because it's like a, it's like a, they're like it's like white blood cells fighting uh, back That's against stupid. a virus. That's stupid. You think it's stupid? Yeah. I just think I don't think it was executed well enough. I think that any stupid idea, like if you do it right, can be fucking cool. Any stupid idea. I, I wouldn't say any stupid idea. I would say this, but that you that think that idea? sometimes there are things in like, film because we come across as stupid, stupid, but could be good. Exactly. Yeah. Um, don't like, make blanket like sta- dude. We've don't argue- make blanket statements like that's that. That's true. I, I agree. I agree. I'll walk that back. <laughs> Not any stupid idea, but like we've talked about the purge before and you, you think that the purge is a really stupid idea. And I was like, yeah, obviously it's a stupid idea for a government to have, but for a movie, I think that would be really fucking interesting if you did it right. I think that there is a purge that can exist that would have a lot of really interesting fucking like political and social implications. Uh, the problem is like they all try to do that and then they just end up making a slasher movie. Yeah. Um, didn't they do a, a literal origin movie of the purge? Yeah, yeah, that's so dumb. It was like purge the beginning. I I, I saw it with Kate, and the entire time I was like this. <laughs> For audio listeners, I just rolled my eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, tell tell box. the people the the great joke you made during the movie. That wasn't that great of a joke. <laughs> I, so, it wasn't it's even so a joke. Stupid. I mumbled. I mumbled something. So uh, Patty Cakes, uh, she she talks to Sandra Bullock about how uh, she, she feels, feels like, like she's a burden. A, she's a burden in the in the house, mm-hmm. and I just mumbled burden box. And I lost my mind. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed so hard. It's such a dumb joke. <laughs> burden box. All right, this has been spoilers for Bird Box. That's a longer spoiler. Yeah, episode. it is. We can talk about like almost... four different movies. <laughs> uh, Bird Box is very good. Check it out on Netflix if you if you want to see it. Um, this has been the Chris and Kyle show. He is Chris. I am Kyle. Find him at chrismichaelstock.com. Chris Michaels on Instagram. Find me Davinwell25, Twitter, Instagram. Find the show on the Chris and Kyle show. Facebook, YouTube, all podcasting platforms. Instagram, TCAXPod on Twitter. What's next week? Hmm? True Detective. Season okay, season so we're one. doing a cool thing with season three of True Detective coming out in uh, soonish March. Soonish, yeah. Will it be done by March? Comes out like 
Yeah. Like in the next couple of weeks. Yes. True Detective season three is coming out. I've never seen any True Detective except the tracking shot, the famous tracking shot scene. I, we are going to do each month. So this month, February and March, we're going to do one season. So like this month, next week, season one True Detective spoiler episode. February, season two True Detective spoiler episode, which is interesting because season one is beloved and season two is kind of hated. That'll be interesting. And then March we'll do season three for Mahershala Ali's season. And it's kind of cool because uh, the True Detective is an anthology with different characters and a different story every season. So it'll be interesting to compare and contrast the different seasons mm-hmm. over the next couple months. And then after that, we'll have our Oscar episode after next week. Yep. Look forward to that. Cool, cool. Bye-bye. Peace out. We out. <laughs> we out, too. <laughs>